Well, it won't be a dining shed you're looking for later. <laughs> maybe it'll be an umbrella. Well, air conditioning first, yes, then an umbrella. The list of things we need, long, <laughs> best to just stay indoors. At this point. It mm. is brutal outside right now because of the heat, but later because of the threat for flooding downpours. Uh, we also have some news in the tropics to talk about and a new air quality alert. Let's get to it. As you look outside, you can see the haze, right? Murky. <laughs> it's like you're swimming through the air because of the humidity and the haze. AQI of 83 right now, so technically moderate. Uh, but we could see the AQI increase closer to the unhealthy for sensitive groups category later this afternoon. Right now, the five boroughs generally upper 80s, low 90s, 92 in the East Village and Central Park, 93 in Newark and Wrightstown, 89 in White Plains, 88 in Islip. That's actual air temperature. This is what your body's reading. Triple digit heat indices for Central Park, for Belmar, feels like 105 in Tom's River, feels like 96 in White Plains, 93 in Montauk, 99 in Islip. This is brutal. This is intense heat. No surprise that we're still under that heat advisory. In fact, the areas that you're seeing 100 to 105 or 6 for that heat index now under an excessive heat warning. The heat advisory has been extended into tomorrow for many of these places and expanded to include parts of Suffolk and uh, the lower Hudson Valley. So this indicating that the heat can be potentially dangerous if you don't take care of yourself. The air quality alert indicating that the air quality can be potentially dangerous for those that suffer from respiratory issues or have any sensitivities. Just note that up to uh, unhealthy for sensitive groups is possible in the AQI today. Now we've got to talk rain because there are some showers moving through our northern suburbs here in Dutchess County near Myers Corner. A pocket of heavy rain that's now moving east. In Westchester County, looks like that rainfall intensity is starting to back off. In Putnam, that is moving west to east as well. And that is just the first round. This is what we're watching into this evening where we will see some stronger showers and thunderstorms that could produce flooding downpours. Also want to mention that the National Hurricane Center now watching potential tropical cyclone four. They are issuing advisories for this. Uh, centered over Cuba right now, we do expect uh, as we head into the weekend here, continued organization, and this is expected to become Debbie. That's the next name on the list. Tropical storm warnings already issued for parts of southwest Florida from uh, about Bonita Springs down through the Everglades. This is forecast to turn north and east, impacting the Florida Peninsula by dropping three to six plus inches of rain over the course of the weekend, and then impacting the Carolinas before heading back out to sea. But it's something that we're watching for the potential for some tropical moisture spreading into our area next week. We'll talk about that as we move into the work week. What we're dealing with tonight is the threat uh, for some drenching downpours that can lead to localized flooding. The Storm Prediction Center actually expanding our level one risk here to include the majority of us just given uh, the heat and the moisture that we have to work with. Some of those storms could be strong to severe tonight. It's timing out. Spotty showers right now, but the more steady stuff works in after 4 p.m. You see this line of fairly heavy rain with the potential for gusty wind and lightning as well. That moves through once the sun sets tonight and tomorrow a similar pattern. We start dry, but the second half of Saturday bringing in drenching downpours. Guess what? Sunday, same story. First part is dry, second half is going to bring in the scattered showers and storms that can produce flooding. So for the next few hours here, the heat index value is the main weather story. And then by late afternoon, early evening, the main weather story is the heavy rain. 93, we've actually bumped up that high. That's actual air temperature, but heat index is what you're reading, and that's feeling 100 plus for a lot of the area. As the moisture increases this weekend, temperatures do back off a little bit, uh, but it is going to be an active weekend with alerts taking us through Sunday with the flooding downpour threat. It is busy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm keep that app at hand. Close by, folks. Thanks, Thanks. Danny. Coming up, a judge is ruling over city-funded rental vouchers. What it means for tenants who earn more than what the rules allow. And the additional funds coming to families in New York who receive some food benefits.